Welcome to the shop everyone. Well, on today's video, we're going to continue on turning this engine build stand into an engine running stand, test stand, whatever you'd like to call it. And on this video here, I'm going to try to concentrate on building something that maybe slides back and forth, comes up, maybe goes across, and then comes up to the engine mounts to make the engine a little bit more stable when it's sitting there running. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I'd like to do is fabricate something on these legs that come out that will slide back and forth and be able to remove. Because like I say, I wanna be able to turn this thing back into an engine build stand very easily. So I guess what I'm thinking is something that'll encapsulate it like this, come down a little bit, then have a bolt that runs through it. So that's the idea. And uh, let's get to making something for that. All right, well, I got this part finished. Welded a nut on the back side. Bolt goes through. And it simply just slides over. And I can run the bolt in. And so it'll slide back and forth. And so from here, I'm gonna try to build, I don't know, maybe I'll use one and a half square tubing or something, come up and probably make something goes to the other side where the, you know, the whole thing would slide together. All right, that's the idea. And uh, let's see what it turns into. Okay, so I have this part pretty much fabricated. Goes across there, down on the other side. You can loosen this up, slide it back and forth, tighten it back up. And so now, I need to make something that would, you know, slide back and forth on here, and then also be able to extend or retract some for, you know, different motor mounts and stuff on different type engines. So 
All right, that's the next thing. That's the idea. Let's get to it. All right, well, I have the, I guess what you call the sliders worked out, where they could slide back and forth. It can move, uh, you know, forward and backwards, and then left to right. And so I ran out to the hardware store, and I got some threaded rod. What I'm thinking is somehow the threaded rod will be able to be run up to the height of whatever the engine mounts are. So I cut out some square tubing probably a weld on there then the uh, threaded rod we're recessing there I put uh, I weld one of these nuts on there so you could run it up to you know the engine mount and actually take some of the weight off so that's kind of the idea let's see how it works out all right so I have my threaded rod I got a nut Weld it on the inside so the threaded rod will run up and down. I also got me a washer machined out and a nut to go on there. So that will slide it back and forth, run this up and down, and then also I machined down some uh, a nut, make it a little bit smaller. Want to go on like that? Probably some kind of a washer, another washer, then the other one that I split go on top. And uh, I'll probably have this piece of steel in between it, and I'll probably weld this part on there. That so I have a hole in here. I might actually bend this up some, and then so that'll kind of sandwich between there then you can go back and forth and then rise it up and down to get the height you need all right uh, let's try to fix that part see how that turns out all right so I got the top part fabricated out anyways that's gonna go on the top of that threaded rod and then slide over there at some point and you know the bolt will go through there and hold it so Let's set everything up, see how it works out. All right, so we got the engine support bar, I guess we call it, all set up, fabricated in. Makes the motor very sturdy. Let's see, this side set up. So anyways, hopefully it can fit some other engines. I don't have another engine to put on there to try it out, but I tried to make this part where it could slide back and forth. Tried to make this part where it could go back and forth and you know raise up and down. So, anyways, as we get other engines to uh, put on it, we can always modify it to make it fit if certain parts don't. Okay, got the engine support part of the engine test stand or engine running stand, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, the idea was to be able to turn it into an engine test stand and also make it back into a engine build stand pretty easy and so 
just take these clues, slide them out. So it's about that easy to remove and to set everything back up. And bolt everything back up and there you have it. All right, so I'm gonna end this video off here. Uh, the next video, we're probably gonna be working on the front part as far as where the radiator and things like that'll go. And, uh, Maybe some of the control panel stuff there. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like, share, subscribe if you'd like to. And as always, we appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much.